happy to be able to use that audio track again because we have another Game of Thrones product. It's 2022, it's December, and Rittenhouse throws down on us this Game of Thrones, the Complete Series Trading Cards, Volume 2. Now, Volume 1 of the Complete Series came out a couple years ago, and uh, it was a pretty cool set. This one's uh, a little different overall. It's going back to kind of the Iron Anniversary style. Um, very limited packs, and this time you get three autographs per pack. Per per box, I mean. One autograph per pack, obviously. So three autographs per box, including one inscription per box, but knowing how Rittenhouse works, there will probably be a good chance of being more than one inscription autograph. There could be dual autographs. There's a very cool Amelia Clark is Daenerys Targaryen and Kit Harington is Jon Snow dual autograph card. There is a Amelia Clark full bleed autograph to be found in here. There are many other cool signers. There's a lot of insert sets on this one. Too many to keep track of. A lot of uh, potential to get metal cards. Um, if you watched one of the prior videos for Top, Top Fiction Investor, uh, my Game of Thrones Iron Anniversary Series 2 case break uh, managed to pull one of the Artifacts Metal cards. Those are numbered to 25, so that was a cool pull. Potentially could get that. Today, though, we're only looking at these two hobby boxes right here. So that being said, those hobby boxes are 6,154 out of 15,000. And this is a little lower number one. Couldn't fully make it out, but it's either 8... 26 or 626 of 15,000. But uh, I think we're going to open that one second. We'll open this one first. Go ahead and change to the pro view. And for what should be the final video of 2022 for Pop Fiction Investor, we got again two Game of Thrones, the complete series, trading cards, volume two. Got two boxes, one a lower number one, which I think we're going to open second. Uh, but for now, we'll take a look at box 6,154 of 15,000. Three packs per box, one autograph per pack. Should be a pretty quick break here. And let's get to it. Pulled some cool stuff. Uh, if you watch some of my prior Game of Thrones Rittenhouse Archives videos, I've done two cases uh, of this product so far on video. Uh, one Series 1 full case break, one Series 2 full case break. The Series 2 I broke into three separate videos. There's definitely a lot of content to watch there. Pulled some cool stuff, um, including one of the Number to 25 Artifacts Metal Cards. It was Ramsey though, got Ramsey. But uh, hoping we can pull some cool stuff here. Feels like there's a good number of cards in there. I think it's 12 cards per pack, 10 cards per pack. So, so we're getting about 30 cards out of these two packs. Lots of insert sets I saw in the set checklist. Way too many to keep track of. Some cool signers. Could get a Daenerys Targaryen autograph in here. Amelia Clark, Kit Harrington as Jon Snow, Gwendolyn Christie. We have a saw Sophie Turner in here as well with Sansa. Some Lannisters are in here, you know. We got uh, Peter Dinklage as Tyrion, and I guess a dual autograph, Nikolai Kostrwaldo. So very uh. You know, very much looking forward to seeing what we get out of these two hobby boxes. We get six autographs. Let's open our first pack. We're feeling a metal card of some sort in here. All right, very cool design too. Interesting oval shape there. I think this is probably the base base set. There are some base cards here, and like Iron Anniversary, the backs uh, make up a full image. Collect the right amounts. 
So again, lots of insert sets, lots of different card types. Hopefully I could call them out as we get them. Oh, got our autograph. Shireen, Princess Shireen, Carrie Ingram as Shireen Baratheon. And don't forget the Jon Snow Daenerys Season 8 highlight card. Yeah, Dario Naharis, Metal's Expression. Oh, this one. And we have Sir Jora in Morium Car. M11. Bran. This looks like a. Yeah, I think this is the Iron Anniversary expansion set. This looks like an Iron Anniversary card, right? See, so Bran is a new character that wasn't featured before in that set. We have Daenerys card of some sort. DS6. I'll have to look into exactly what set that is. But DS6. Interesting card there featuring Daenerys. And the last two cards, maybe more base cards, it looks like. Card 49. Card 21. Try and group them as best I can. There are different backgrounds I'm seeing. And they're almost all different color. In our autograph of the first pack, I think that's a blue bordered autograph. Very Ingram, Shireen Baratheon. All right, pack number two. Back to season one, episode one. Man, that passes the sentence. Card number three. That's the black and white. Card number 43. We go to the season eight. Our autograph. It's like one of the traveling actors, Kevin Eldon. Full bleed autograph. Is Canelo. Not a hundred percent sure which season. I think there is. Sure, he's one of the actors, and maybe it was around season six, I think. Not hundred percent sure though. Their second autograph, which means our third one should be an inscription autograph of some sort. So next autograph should be an inscription. Carry Ingram on top. All right, what other kind of cards we got here? This is a gold foil. Oh, number to 50. Looks like a base set number to 50 of Bran. Taking down, trying to take down Drogon. And we got a nice, looks like gold parallel perhaps. Number seven of 50.
we have a house bone. The blades are sharp. HH8. It's one of the house feature inserts featuring all the houses. Cool card. I guess we'll put that one there. Got another Bron. The centerpiece. Card 275. Let's see, expansion to base, quotables. Let's do a separate pile for that, I guess. More Ramsey, more House Bolton. Getting Ramsey to get here. Season 3 ish, maybe? Card 20. Yeah, season three highlight. All right, and that does it. I think that's. Just check if there was. Make sure there weren't any other numbered parallels in here. Yeah. Okay. and Morian isn't numbered, is it? Okay. All right, again, yeah, getting a lot of variety with this set, a lot of inserts, way too many to, to know exactly what they are. Definitely makes this collectible, I would think. Again, yeah, going back to first season, first episode, card number two. Season 5 highlight. Card 42. And going back to season 8. Oh, and we have Eddie Jackson. Throat slit by a gray worm. Our inscription autograph. Eddie Jackson as Bolicho Payamian. Hmm. Could be one of the new signers. I don't know if I've seen this autograph before. All right, interesting inscription autograph there. And the last cards of the pack. Yeah, Yara, I believe this time. Oh, Copper Pearl, 90 of 99. I believe that's, yeah. Yara Greyjoy. Start out in season two. Wasn't too heavily featured, but stayed up in it to the end. Two forty seven, number ninety of ninety nine, and another third brown is two seventy four. Brown all day in this uh, set here. Shores of Dragonstone. Was this one of those dragon marker? Cards, perhaps. Is it even a valid card? Another new insert. The Shores of Dragonstone. Season six and season three. That does it for our first box. Yeah, interesting variety of stuff here. In our second box, the lower number one. Not sure exactly what number that is. Couldn't wiggle that around to find out, but I'll just find out right now. Yeah, 
826 of 15,000. Feel a metal card in that one. Yeah, cool but excessive packaging for just three packs and 30 cards. But again, very similar to the Iron Anniversary box style and what they've been going with lately. So for the higher end cards, I think these are a little higher end than some of the regular season sets that were out. Pack number one. Again, there's something to add in here. You can definitely feel it on the sides. And you can see it. It's a sleeve card sticking out. Definitely a metal card of some sort. It might be just the expressions metal though. Yeah, I think it is. Tyrion from season one. John Snow season four. This looks like is this one of the gold parallels? Oh, Jack Leeson as Joffrey. We'll get. Yeah, it's just a base card, I believe. Here, thought it might be, but yeah, it's not gold stamped. Oh, and a new card design. Jack Gleason as Joffrey Baratheon. The sleazebag himself. King Joffrey. So limited edition autograph card has been personally signed by Jack Gleason as King Joffrey Baratheon. Um, very cool guy in, uh, in real life from what I've been reading. Some of the cast members. I believe he just got married recently in real life, Jack Leeson. So congrats on getting married. I believe it wasn't this year, 2022, where I read that. Um, I think he stopped acting for a bit to focus on studying and finishing his degree. Actually kind of a smart guy. And uh, I think he's maybe returning to acting from what I read as well. But... Um, very cool. Very glad I got this. Uh, I believe. It. Well, no, I've gotten Stannis Baratheon. I've gotten Baratheon autographs before, but is he Baratheon? Is he more? He's really more Lannister. He's a little Lannister. All right, Jack Leeson as King Joffrey Baratheon. I had a feeling the second box would be a, maybe a little bit better than the first, so definitely a cool autograph right there. And we got the High Priest, High Sparrow, yeah. Every one of us is poor and powerless, and yet, together, we can overthrow an empire. Very Andorish quote there, just finished Andor, that was a very good show. Finale of Andor. Wow. Very amazing. And oh yeah, I knew it. He is uh Jonathan Price is currently uh Prince Philip on the Crown. I've been uh, been watching that as well. So yeah, he's Prince Philip on the Crown currently. <sighs> More Boltons. Ramsey again. Bron all day. The Iron Anniversary Bron expansion. Getting strong. Oh, we got <clears throat> Dragonstone. It's a cool looking card. ES5. 
Obviously it's regular rectangle cut, but just the pattern on it makes it look oddly shaped, but it is just regular, you know, rectangle cut. Normal card cut. DS5. So, oh yeah, that's why this looks like the centerpiece. So maybe even the front sides connect together, maybe? Oh yeah. I think I'm onto something here. I think I'm on to something here. Yeah, we'll put those together then. That's yeah, DS6, DS5. Like that maybe. Yeah. Like go like that or perhaps like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I'll have the cards to figure that one out. Though. Season six, classic Arya scene. Season three. There's the Jon Snow spin-off show in development. You guys are aware of that one? It's one of the currently four or five Game of Thrones spin-off besides House of the Dragon that's currently in development. And by the way. What am I doing not talking about House of the Dragon? Jeez. How awesome was that show? Just nominated for Golden Globe Best Drama. And actually, I think one of the next big purchases I'll make trading card wise is should definitely be, I think there's no more Game of Thrones sets coming after this from Rittenhouse Archives, from what I see. But there is a House of the Dragon Season 1 trading card product. I've already talked about. That comes out, I'm gonna go big on that one next year, because House of the Dragon is an amazing show. Yuri Kolopnikov. Sorry, I'm not pronouncing that right. Season two-ish, I believe, is one of the a steer, yeah. Season two. A blue bordered autograph. We have a. Is this like another Inflections expansion? Um, but another parallel number to 50. Ooh, number 13 of 50. Daenerys executes Varus. Yep. That's where it starts getting. Starts getting interesting in season eight from there on. Alright, our third parallel. Yeah, nice low number of parallels. Numbered to a hundred or less so far. We're thirteen to fifty. Daenerys executes Varys. We got House Tyrell. Do we get another Bronze? We have another Bronze. Sir Bronze. Join the, the Bronze stack there. Tyrion, what wisdom does Tyrion have to say? May I speak? Why not? Only death will shut you up. It's a uh, Tyrion and Brown quote there. And on the back, we're family, the four of us are the last of the Starks. Q88. Arya, Blind Arya, Daenerys season three, badass Daenerys. Man, this has been a cool little break, you know? Lots of insert sets, like I said. And one inscription autograph to go. Let's see what this last pack has in store. Season one, John and uh, Sir Alistair. 
these are the four. Oh, I think the seasons are color coded. That's what it is. Oh, this lady from season two, Laura Predleska. I believe that says this is power. I believe that's what that says there. Laura Predleska is Quaith. This is a character that, uh, when they were on screen, seemed like they could be a potential recurring important character, but never really returned after that second season. Or did she? I don't know. Was there more to this character? If there was, let me know in the comments. Did I miss something? It's entirely possible that I did. Another copper parallel. And we close it out with a sixth brown and a 67 of 99 gray worm centerpiece. Horn Hill, the seat of house, Charlie. E5. And Daenerys on fire, card number 50. It's a very memorable moment from this show. Actually, there's been a couple times Daenerys has been on fire, hasn't, hasn't there? Another guy on fire. Town on fire. Fire everywhere. Fire and blood. Definitely the name of what's going on in House Targaryen. And the book it's based off of, I guess. But anyway, we'll do. Oh, yeah, we didn't sleeve this one up yet. Inscription number three That Lady from Season Two. This is power. I think that's a good sign. All right, let's do an autograph recap. We got that one, we got. The douchebag himself, Joffrey. King DB. Done. Now this one might stay in the personal collection. I don't know why. Well, obviously because Joffrey is an awesome character overall. You just had to hate him. That's what he's there for. Throat slit by Grey Worm, our second inscription. Got Carrie Ingram as Shireen Baratheon. And Yuri as Stig? Steer. And this guy. Oh boy, what am I going to do with this autograph? I have no idea. Oh boy. All right. Tons of inserts. Actually, a very cool set. Um, and this was our 21st video, probably the last video. Definitely, I think, going to be the last video of 2022. Might be the last video I do for a little while. Um, like I said, I got one more item possibly coming in soon. Ordered Marvel Studios Allure, which is another two hobby boxes that uh, trading cards that feature events from the Infinity Saga. So that should be pretty cool. So I got two hobby boxes of those coming in. Considering just selling the hobby boxes, say I got them at a low price and they might already be worth more than I paid. They're already kind of going for 300 now. Anyway, thank you all for watching and good fortune to you.